All right, I got one for you. I did a video on this yesterday. <laughs> now it's popping up. 30-year fixed mortgages. 8% just hit. So, hear me on this. The 30-year fixed mortgage rate just hit 8% for the first time since, 20 to, since 2000 as Treasury yields soar. Funny. Oh, my God. It happened in 2000. What happened in 2001? In my city, downtown, in September, on a Tuesday, early in the morning, in the financial district. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Don't say, oh, tinfoil conspiracy. Bullshit. How could it be? How could it be that two separate events in history have one underlying thing together? 8% interest hit in 2000. And then what happened? What happened? And the GWAD. What is the GWAT? The global war on terror began. In 2000, the interest rates went up to 8%. Then we had an event, September 11th. September 11th, by the way, mixed in there with Enron. Remember that? Don't forget that one. Okay, how much, how many, how many, how many of the uh, Enron stocks were inside the big institutes, pension plans, and you know, ass, assets under management. Just saying. So 2000, it gets to eight percent. September 20, uh, 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 September 11, uh, 2001. Boom. We got the GY. We're all around. At the end of the day, then all the major companies, Raytheon, L3, Halliburton, everybody was making money because we had war. <laughs> Fuck real estate. Now, here we are, go to the future. Interest rates hit 8%, okay? The bond markets are crashing. Somebody called them uh, the bloody bond market. The bond markets are crashing. The banks are in trouble. And what is starting in the Middle East? The GY 2.0. <laughs> do you understand? Like, for real, you do not have to be a conspiracy theory. You just have to be a regular, normal person that goes, wait a minute. How is it 8% and it kicked off that? And it's 8% this kicked off that. And what are the warnings we're getting now? What? Are, wait a minute. Let me just hold on a second. Do -do 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 -do. Won't you be... Can't you be my freaky neighbor? Two seconds. Um, I've seen this earlier today. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. There's one I was looking at that was... Oh, here it goes. Mail online, you can Google it yourself. <laughs> Siri, you sexy bitch, look this up for me. Anyway, U.S. preps for possible attack on D.C. with simulated incoming missiles. Why is D.C. doing this? Why? Because 2000, we hit... No, I'll take you even before that. Before 2000, we had a president called Bill Clinton, okay? Bill Clinton and his demonic wife, Hillary, decided that everybody needs a home. Everybody qualifies. That started with them. So mortgage applications were getting filled all over the place. People were writing them like that. There was just too many of them. And the government was backing them all. Freddie Fannie, oh my. And that was in the 90s, late 90s, leading right up to 2000. And then 8% interest. Oh, wait a minute. What was that time frame again? It was an election cycle from Bill to George W. Is this an election cycle right now? Oh my God, I'm connecting the dots. Hello, government. So 8% interest kicks in, housing market starts to collapse, Enron starts to take a dive, people in California got rolling blackouts, the big hedge funds in New York, this is all stuffed in, the, in their assets under management, Things are going bad. Everything looks freaky. 
People start going to Starbucks, ordering weird drinks again. And then, what do we got? <laughs> Boom. Then that carried us completely over. I mean, we went through some wicked stuff. 2008, 2012, quantitative easing, you know, uh, QE your mother, your sister, your cousin was involved. And then we get to a point where right now, our interest rates just hit 8% in the mortgages, destroying the bond market during an election cycle. And we have the new... You can't make this shit up. I mean, I, children can make a better story than this. So what I'm trying to tell you now, it's very simple. Prepare, because I just gave you history repeating itself over and over again over a cup of coffee, okay? There's no way around it. Same interest rate America can't handle. The Fed can't even say they failed. I mean, they're smart people. They know that America cannot handle 8% interest. And you can't. Then you turn around. But by the way, let's see. YouTube loves when I make these videos. They're like, we're going to clip them. Hold on a second. That sounds like. That looks like. Right there. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me just say taxes. All right. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the effects of 8% interest rate. Okay. You with me? I'm going to lower the volume because YouTube hates this stuff. Okay. What? 359000 buys you in Texas. Since when, are they, since when are they offering homes close to half a million dollars on TikTok? What well, 300000 gets you? This is what 120000 gets you in Texas. And this is, what is it? Is Texas right for you? I could do this in any state. I could do this in any state. It, 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 it's just, it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, real estate will crash. It will take down the bond market. It's taking down the bond market at the 8% interest rate. It's all happening together. People, I'm just trying to give you a, a, a picture of what's behind the scenes on all this stuff because you're not going to get this kind of conversation on Fox or MSN or anything. They can. Those people are being on whatever. They're, they're, they're compromised. They drink almond milk. They're on somebody's paycheck. I put this out to you. And I'll fight with YouTube. And if I have to, I'll delete this channel and then start another one. Like, what's up, motherfuckers? You have to understand the reality is this. This system is about to break. Because if they try to do what they did before in 2000, 2001, it's not going to work this time around. Because the difference is Russia and China now have an alliance and they have a financial system around the world based on moving money on national currencies on XRP. That's why that coin has been attacked so much. Do you understand now? That coin, that system, that company is going to allow the commu financial communication of countries outside the United States.